for over 13 years, the origins behind this song on Roblox had been unknown. You may have heard it when you were younger in games like Build to Survive the Zombies or Sword Fights on the Heights. This song has been heard by millions of Roblox players in their childhood, and you may be surprised to hear the creator is not Telemon, but instead a Finnish musician from 2001, who was never contacted about its use. In this video, I will take a deep dive on the origins of Winds of Fjords, and find out how this Finnish musician created a song that has impacted many across the Roblox platform. It was 2007 and Roblox was a fairly new company founded in San Mateo, California in 2004. Telemon, one of Roblox's staff members, had decided to look online for music to use on the platform. Eventually, he'd end up on the site modarchive.org, a site hosting large collections of music modules from various artists. From there, Telemon would find many different song modules, including The Great Strategy, and Winds of Fjords. After finding these two modules, Telemon would later upload them onto Roblox, with the Winds of Fjords audio being titled Wind of Fjords, where it would later be featured in many Roblox games like Sword Fights on the Heights and Built to Survive the Zombies. Due to this, many players believe the song was named Wind of Fjords or Telemon's Sword. The origin of Telemon Sword most likely came from the first two words in the game Telemon Sword Fights on the Heights, however this is just theorized, and it is unknown what the true origin behind the name Telemon Sword is, or how this false name managed to appear. Not only was the name often mistaken, but the origins behind who created it as well. Due to the audio being uploaded by Telemon to be used in his own game, many believed he produced Winds of Fjords, when in reality, it was stolen from a small Finnish musician without permission. But who was this small Finnish musician, and how did the Roblox Corporation manage to get away with taking his own song? I started making music on my computer as a teenager around 1999. I found programs called Trackers, quite limited compared to today's DAWs, but easily available for anyone with sound card and because of open source module file format, you could learn by looking at songs made by others. Winds of Fjords was made in 2001, and as it was common to borrow samples from other composers' songs as long as you credit them in the comment section, I got almost all the samples and some inspiration from Big Jim's Voyage to Eternity, one of my own favorites at that time. For me, Winds of Fjords was just one song among many that I made during my tracker music years. I used to upload everything to the Mod Archive, a website archiving tracker music. Now we jump in time to 2019 or 2020 when I started receiving emails from gamers asking about the song. It was then I realized it had become somewhat popular among Roblox gamers and there were a bunch of videos with millions of views on YouTube including many different remakes. Funnily enough, it had become known for a playback bug too, causing a long hanging note that should have been there. Was I asked about using it in the game? Sometimes I got emails from indie game producers asking to use my old tracker songs in their games and I usually gave them permission. I can't be 100% certain about Roblox's case though. I might have been asked about using it in the game early on when Roblox was still a work in progress, which at the time was nothing like it grew to be later. After searching through my email, which had everything stored starting from 2006, I couldn't find a trace of it, so I assume I did not get contacted and I'm 100% sure I never signed an agreement or anything like that. For a while, I did nothing about it. In 2022, I decided to try to gain some good out of the situation and grow an audience for my current work. So, I released a polished remaster myself. I wanted to direct traffic to my channel, so I took down some other videos, mainly those which had the song without any other content. I leave alone remixes and remakes though, since it's fun to hear what people come up with. 
Some have asked about adding it back to Roblox 2. I wouldn't mind it being in the game available for everyone, but it should be licensed by the Roblox Corporation as an official audio. And as a big corporation, they seem to be impossible to reach with suggestions like this. So for now, it can be used in Roblox games if the creator of a game licenses it directly from me. What next? I have been making music with another guy in a collaboration called Soft Knees. We make mostly chill out slash dub slash electronica, smooth sounding stuff that works well with headphones on and just letting your thoughts drift. Aside from that, I occasionally do custom ordered stuff and for Wind of Fjords lovers out there, it's great news that an animator ordered an epic edit of the song and it will be released when he or she gets the animation finished which should be before summer 2023. So stay tuned and follow Soft Knees on YouTube and everywhere else. Making money with music is not easy and it has never been my main goal, I make music for the fun of it. On the positive side, the popularity of Wind of Fjords has offered some slow but steady income that I can use to improve conditions in my home studio, like doing acoustic treatment to be able to mix better. So if someone feels like wanting to help out a little, they can share and subscribe to our channels, watch and click ads, buy the song on Bandcamp, license music for their games and videos, or order custom made tracks. Or just listen and enjoy, that's fine too. Winds of Fjords being a well-known song in the Roblox community has been heard by millions of players across the internet. But what inspired Minimus to make this track, and where did its samples come from? In the internal comments of the song, Minimus explains the inspiration behind Winds of Fjords, stating the fjords of Norway are so beautiful and rugged, just like those great bass drums at the beginning. Sometimes they are peaceful and sometimes so wild and changing. Here are the samples Minimus used in Winds of Fjords. Minimus also revealed that the samples came from two other sources, Nikolai from the group Lotus and musician Big Jim. Big Jim was another musician who posted modules on the mod archive and Minimus had taken most of his inspiration from him. With one of Minimus' favorite modules at the time being Big Jim's Voyage to Eternity, he took most of his samples from Big Jim and his group Valhalla. By listening to many of Big Jim's songs, you can hear the similarities to Winds of Fjords. The songs that are most similar to Winds of Fjords are Voyage to Eternity, Of a Land Beyond Hope, Dreaming of Foreign Skies, and finally Solstice. Winds of Fjords was also the first part of Minimus' Wind series, which included Polar Wind, and finally Solar Wind, which was never released. Voyage to Eternity is the song most closely related to Winds of Fjords, and the inspiration is apparent. Of the samples that don't come from Voyage to Eternity, all but one comes from Of a Land Beyond Hope although they are all bass samples in the background as opposed to any leads. Dreaming of Foreign Skies is widely considered one of the best songs made by Big Jim. The resemblance to Winds of Fjords may seem uncanny, but it was just a coincidence, although this was one of the Big Jim songs Minimus listened to back then. Digging deeper, we can find that Minimus was part of a group called the Fine Ground Coffee Crew, However, in March of 2002, a post revealed that Minimus left as he was too busy and was already in another music group called Domu. Domu was a music group made up of two members, Minimus and JCM. An archive of Domu's old website reveals that in the year 1997, Minimus and JCM met on a camp and became best friends. They both began making MIDI music but later began to dislike it. Now that we know where Minimus got his inspiration to produce Winds of Fjords, there is one question that still remains. 
how much does Minimus make from Winds of Fjords? For years, Minimus has constantly missed out on monetary benefits from Winds of Fjords. Due to Minimus being a small musician, there is almost nothing he can do to prevent his music from being misused and falsely striked online. World is full of who take advantage of other people's efforts and then go cheat the next guy out of their money. And they can do it without care about getting caught, because the amount of material is so massive, the systems are so huge that nobody actually cares until it's about mainstream artists and big labels. You can support Minimus and his collaboration Soft Knees by going to the links in the description.